Contact 1, January 28, 1975, at 2.34 p.m. You are a fearless man. I have unlearned the angst and I have been objective. I know, because we have studied yourself for years. Very nice. And why? Well, we would like to set some things clear via yourself. Is not someone else then suitable for that purpose? Surely, yet we have grasped yourself in the eye, while you occupy yourself in other personalities already since many millennia with these problems, and you think and act real and honest, and while you have exercised such a mission already oft in your earlier lives, also with for ourselves great mysteries trail around. Thanks for the flowers. No reason, because they are your own earning. Good, but who are you actually? Name myself easily by the do, so how I do it also. Thanks, but who are you now? One names myself Simyoza, and I stem from the Pleiades. From the seven stars. Surely. A nice excursion, I would say. How did you do that? Perhaps through hyperspace? You know oft more than ourselves could prefer. Why? I am yet silent and no gossip bag. I know that, and therefore is your knowledge in the right place. And all others make themselves there from no worry. Why have you blocked the way to your ship from me? Was it because of the film in my camera? Would it have been destroyed? Surely, because you shall have but at least photo evidence. Aha, uh -huh. I shall thus step in the public. Yet how shall I arrange that? You shall. And I will clarify the way to you later. Good then. Is it however not somewhat dangerous to leave your ship openly landed? If perhaps other people come by. Have no worry, because it is cared so that no man comes nearer than 500 meters in the vicinity. Besides the radiation ship is protected through the woods and the hills against far sight. Then shall I alone be included as man in this meeting? Yes, and you know why. I understand, sadly. Also if you regret it. There is nothing to change because of that, also not in the future. I understand already, my dear fellow man. Surely, their spiritual recognitions rest in false paths. You however have yourself taken the trouble and learned. You have found the truth already many thousands of years ago and even millions of years ago in other personalities, and you have yourself acquired the knowledge. Therefore you stick out from the great mass of humans upon the earth, and therefore are we also fallen upon yourself. You always say we, does that mean, that? Surely. I said already, that you oft know more, than could be beloved by us. Please be silent about that, because the truth is already so hard enough for the men. I have never possessed this knowledge. And as a result I can say also nothing. You can also name it so, and I know, that you will be silent. I know, that you would dispute even everything in the whole happening, and would lay it out as fantasy, if one should persuade yourself to speak. You know myself really very exact. That is why and from many other grounds, and from determination we have just picked you. Yet now enough of the questions and answers. Listen to me now exactly, what I have to say to you. Write down everything and step in the public then with that, yet differently than you have done this in earlier lives in exertion of your mission. How shall I do that, because I have nothing here to write with? I also have no tape or anything similar. No worries, because you can write later. First I clarify everything to you, therewith you have an oversight. On the other side it is easier for myself later, to set myself in connection with you and to put the thoughts into you, where accordingly you can then write down everything word for word completely exact. 
Do you think they're by on the same form, with which you also have brought myself here? You are really very knowing, and you may call honor to us. Thanks. Already good. So hear now and interrupt myself only, if you really do not understand something. Sim uses clarification. Already a long time it urges us to step in connection with a man upon the earth, which wants to be helpful in honestness and completely real to our duty. Already very often was this try undertaken, yet the men who were searched out were not sufficiently knowing and not willing enough, and often lacked also in their honestness and loyalty. Those, however, which we could have engaged for our endeavor, they feared and silenced themselves about our appearance. They alleged, one would have to swear to a spirit sickness, consciousness sickness, and they tried to annihilate them through magisterial and dumb humanly intrigues, and they tried to accuse them of lies. For that however very many both searching men step up, which profess, to have contact with us and even to have flown in our radiation ships. They are however nothing further than charlatans and betrayers which shine themselves in doubtful fames and want to get capital from that. The Earthmen have whole organizations, which deal with the enlightenment of our radiation ships, yet only very narrow material is available to all of them, which is really authentic. They are in the possession of very many photos, which however represent nothing further than some lights and light appearances of natural origin or completely known falsifications. Only very few of these photo evidences are authentic and really represent our radiation ships. Most of the photos are only montages or photographic deceit, fabricated from deceivers and charlatans, whose names become known worldwide through that. Through that, the written books and writings of those represent also only an evil deceit, for the purpose of searching to be famous or of charlatanry. On the other side however many dare to bring us in connection with the humanly religion, with which we in no way have anything to do with and also never want to have anything to do with. You also named sectarians dread themselves before this step back and betray their fellow men even with the belief. These infamous machinations and into the primitive going machinations should become stopped, before the world is completely grasped therefrom. Were the betrayer and charlatans actually with us in connection and thus stand in contact or have stood, then we would have bidden them opportunity, completely clear photo evidence to make of our radiation chips. There are they however dishonest men, we have not given them this possibility. As evidence of this actuality we gave you opportunity to make significant pictures of our radiation chips. However also furthermore we will grant to you such opportunities to be able to create still better and clearer picture evidence. The Earthman name us, extraterrestrials, or star people, or however he likes. He credits us as supernatural, and he knows us not in the narrowest. In reality we are men like also the Earthmen, only that our knowledge and our wisdom is laid very far over that of theirs, thus also in technical hindsight. Arguably has the Earthman taken the first very small step to space flight, however that means nothing more than the first quite primitive trials. Also if he reached the moon with rockets, thus has he still not reached the outer space yet. In the aforementioned form he could also never reach it. Required for that purpose is a mechanism, which is able to break through the hyperspace and would allow the collapse of the unending distances. Space and time are not overcome by space and time, rather through the spaceless and timeless, which there means, that space and time collapses into themselves and become aligned to the zero time. Few fractions of a second can suffice there through, to be able to hurry through millions of light years, practically without a loss of time, while the zero time paralyzes space and time. Many betrayers and charlatans think, that they would stand in contact with men of planets of your solar system and that they have even flown with, or in their radiation ships. That is nothing more than lies, because currently most of those from the named stars from them and their planets are so inhospitable, that humanly life would be impossible. Other planets are contrarily already long extinct of life or they are first in the stage of development. 
other solar systems can't really accommodate manifold life, and indeed not only human. The forms of life are manifold, human-like animal. Also they have many animal or even plant forms of life highly developed. So there are types, which attain great knowledge and made themselves free from their areas of life, which traverse space and also come to and again to your earth. Many of them are each but uncomfortably coevals and live in a certain barbarism, which often is almost as bad like that of the earthman. Before them must one be cautious, because they oft combat and destroy everything which gets in their way. Oft have they already annihilated whole planets or have forced their inhabitants into barbaric bondage. This is one of our duties. To warn the earthmen of these creatures. Let the men know this, because more and more the time approaches when a clash inevitably happens with these Alsgahatit human creatures. A further duty regards the sects and religions in the underdevelopment of the human consciousness bound with that. Overall stands only one, that possesses might over life and death of each entity. It is the creation alone, which has laid out her laws over everything. Laws, which are irrevocable and have eternal finality. The man may recognize them in the nature, if he tries for that reason. They present the way of life to him and the way to the corresponding spiritual and consciousness breadth, which represent the goal of life. So the man however indulges in his religions, and there with a bad heresy, he languishes his consciousness more and more and it finally leads into a bottomless abyss. The man may recognize, that never can a god take the roles of the creation or can determine the fate of men. Besides a god is only a dominator and a man, who exercises domination or tyranny mightily over his fellow men. God is not the creation rather also only a creation from her like all other creation-dependent creatures. Yet the man chases after his religious erroneous beliefs and claims that God himself is the creation. He goes however still further and claims that an ordinary earthman of the name of Manuel, who is also getting named Jesus Christ through an own error, is the son of God and the creation itself. Still various sectarians of the new time go further and claim things which already come close to insanity. Yet like already mentioned, spaceship deceivers and charlatans run in the same direction. Parts of space would come in the commission of God, wherewith they mean the creation, as angels and similar beings, to bring the earthman the long-yearned peace and the truth of religion and the protection and command of God. That is nothing more than a well-thought-through lie by sectarians and swindlers or charlatans because we never dealt in such tasks, and we will also never do this. The creation herself never issues commands, because she embodies the mightiest in this universe and has never required commands or religions. Religion is only a primitive concoction of men impelled for the purpose of their leadership, conquest, and exploitation, which only weak life in terms of consciousness may succumb to. Bring this truth to the light of the world and make them known to the men. This is a further part of our duty. If that does not happen so, then the humanity would destroy themselves slowly and would succumb in full, spiritual darkness, consciousness darkness. We know that you have knowledge of a secret old writing, whose originals were sadly destroyed through the inattentiveness of our commissioner, who was your friend and sadly has failed in angst. Spread the translation of this writing, because it is the only writing, which is honest in truth and contains no lies. And like we know, you write also a book about this writing and about the real truth. Simusa is referring to an open word, by Billy Edward Albert Meyer, a Korean publisher. To us it appears to be the most important book, which was ever written from a man of your earth. Also if it is hard in its languages and hate will strike it. It however brings the earthman finally the truth, also if still some speculation is in it. It however may finally destroy the delusion in many or at least very contemplatively chaste and many. It is an extraordinary good work, and you shall make it available to the men. For the first time I have shared everything required, yet with that it cannot be sufficient. Many further contacts will follow this first, 
and I will call yourself at the given point in time. But in the way of thought transference, which you all name telepathy, I will set myself in connection with you and transmit further things to you. Fear not, that I will do this at inconvenient time, rather only then, if it is desired by you. I know how to assess your kind and likewise your will of independence, therefore I will continually orient myself according to you. The time will come for yourself, when we will meet ourselves in my spaceship and when you can then also fly into space with me. Yet for the time being that is still not possible, while this is not advisable through certain circumstances from regrettable incidents. Yet about that I will most exactly orient yourself at a later point in time. So live well until at the next time, when I will transmit further important information to you. In the essence however the conversation shall not be so one-sided like today, when I had to provide only clarifications to you. From now on shall each conversation proceed completely normal, like it usually is, with questions and answers. Later, and until soon. Hi.